<laughs> now come along, Helen. It's time for bed. Well, you promised I could have one more. Oh, Henry. <laughs> Please, Daddy. All right, all right. I know. Little Miss Muffet. Yes! But this time, you do it for Mummy and Daddy you? all by yourself. Yes. Right? <laughs> Little Miss Muffet sat on a puppet, eating her curds and whey. There came a big spider, which sat down the spider and threw the puppet away. One more. No, no more, it's late. Oh, please, Mama. No. Please. Oh, come on, there's time for another one. Well, all right then, but just the one. Ring-a-ring-a-roses, a pocket full of roses, a tissue, a tissue. We all fall down. Dad? Dad, what's that noise? All oh, the clocks are... Irregularities will be handled by the forces controlling each dimension. Transuranic heavy elements may not be used where there is life. Medium atomic weights are available. Gold, lead, copper, jet, diamond, radium, sapphire, silver and steel. Sapphire and steel have been assigned. Where's mum and dad? Oh. It's all right, Helen. I'm here. So where are they, mum and dad? Gone. Gone? Gone where? Out of the door, downstairs. Well, where then? Just... just went away. Here, in the room? You mean they disappeared, Helen? Yes. Mum and Daddy, they just went away. 
But not here, not in the room. Yes, just went away. Oh, Helen. Everything's all right, see? I ran all the way to the phone box at Skull's Edge. Telephoned the policeman's house at the point. I told him. He's coming out here. So, everything's all right then, isn't it? I mean, that policeman, he'll only have to come to the other side of the point, across the bay in a boat, and he'll be here. So just drink your milk, Helen. I think it's going to be all right. Stay there. Who is it? Robert Stephen Jardine? Yes. You asked for help. I did, yes. Then unlock the door. It was quick. I've only just spoke. I don't know you. Only the policeman at the point. The policeman at the point isn't coming. I've contacted him and told him that everything now here is under control. But it isn't. I know. That's why we're here and not him. He's a shade too serious, but you'll get used to him. But he's got no right to tell the policeman. Your parents have disappeared, right? Yes. And you want them back? Of course I want them. Safely? Yes. Well, then, your policeman at the point with his idiot notebook and his idiot questions stands no chance of getting them back for you. But we do. Whatever it is that's happened to them, my mother and father, is it serious? How old would you say the house was? At a rough estimate, 250 years. It's old land, arable land. It's probably been that way for centuries. There could have been other buildings on these foundations back in time. Yes, genuine antiques. I'd say most of them. Some vibrations. And the surname, Jardine. Old French. The father's name is Henry, the mother's name is Sarah, and the child is called Helen. How do you know? Old names, an old house. Lots of old things. Lots of old, old echoes. A pressure point, then? Could well be. Could well be it. You know so much about us. We do, yes. Then perhaps you'd like to say who you are, what your names are. My name is Sapphire, and my friend's name is Steele. Sapphire? Yes. That's a... What? Well, that's a beautiful name. Thank you. There are lots of clocks in this house. Yes, my father collects them, makes them work. So why aren't they working now? They do work. They all stop when... Yes? Well, just before it happened. I did search the house after. At the time it happened, where were you? Down here in this room. And your parents were where? In Helen's room at the top. And they were reading to her. 
I'm and Daddy. They just went away. I think we'd all better go up to the top room. Yes. We'll take some clocks with us. Bring the child. When the clock stopped, did you hear anything? I heard Helen crying. Anything else? No, it was this kind of sound. What kind of sound? Well... Describe it. It was like a low murmur, a low rumbling sound. So where have they gone? My parents! Look, I want to know. Now! I mean, you... you come here, just like that. This place, well, you can hear people or cars approaching from miles away. But you two, you arrive just like that. Yes. So, well, I want to know at least something before we go in there to do whatever we're going to do. There is a corridor. It can't be explained to him. It can, in a way, but not by you, perhaps. There is a corridor, and the corridor is time. It surrounds all things, and it passes through all things. Oh, you can't see it. Only sometimes, when it's dangerous. This corridor, can you enter it? No, not in the way you imagine. You cannot enter into time. But sometimes, time can try to enter into the present, break in, burst through and take things, take people. The corridor is very strong, it has to be, but sometimes in some places it becomes weakened, like fabric, worn fabric. And when there is pressure put upon the fabric, time comes in, reaches in and takes out what it wants. And we think that time has broken into that room, broken through, and taken away your parents. Come on. Will they work again? Yes. They've simply wound themselves down, that's all. But my father winds those clocks almost every day. I expect he does. But clocks don't do that. It isn't possible. No. And yet it happened. You were in this room with your mother and father and sister before you went downstairs. Yes. And that's the last you saw of your parents. Yes. Where was the child? Sitting up in bed. Like that? Kneeling. Kneel. So I tell him. Your father was where? Sitting in that chair. Sit in it, will you please? What? Just sit there. Please don't touch anything. Mother was sitting in the rocking chair? Yes. All three like this, then? Yes. Take it your mother was reading aloud to the child. Yes. Reading from this book. She did it. She does it every night. My dad often sits with them. Traditional nursery rhymes. Do you know which particular rhyme was being read when the clocks began to stop? No. 
when things began to happen? No, I was downstairs. It is important to know the exact rhyme. Do you know which one it was? Helen. She's not very talkative with strangers. Then you try. Helen, when Mama, just before Mama went away, you remember? What was she reading to you? Which nursery rhyme? Don't know. You do know, Helen. Tell us, please. First one. Your favourite? Ring a Ring of Roses. Good. Ring a Ring of Roses dates back to the time of the plague. Yes, another echo, another ingredient. I found it. Wait. Read the rhyme carefully. Whenever I raise my hand, stop. When I lower it, continue. Right. If I say back, back, reverse the order of the words immediately. I know. Yeah, but carefully. Not one mistake, not even one wrong letter. No. All right. Now, begin. Ring a ring of roses, a pocket full of poses, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. The king has... The king has sent his daughter to fetch a pail of water. A tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. The bird upon the steeple sits high above the people. A tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. The cows are in the meadow, lying fast asleep. A tissue, a tissue, we all get up again. Cows are in the meadow, lying fast asleep. A tissue, Cackle a tissue, we all get up. The wedding bells are ringing. The boys and girls hush, are singing. Hush, a tissue, a tissue, hush, we all fall. Now we all get up again. Cackle in the meadow, lying fast asleep. Hush, hush, hush. Now we all get up. Again. Cackle. Backwards! Fast Ringing our asleep. bells, wedding thee, singing our girls and boys thee. Tissue up, tissue up, down fall all we. Down fall all we. Pictures, so pictures. Yes, Helen. So it's there then? Yes. We can't seal it yet? No, not till we brought those people back. But tear the rhyme out of the book, destroy it. Has the child somewhere else to sleep? She can sleep in my room. Take her there then, will you? Come on. Becca! Is there a key to this door? No, it was lost years ago. And no one is to come back into this room, do you understand? Not till we've done what we have to. Take it downstairs and burn it.
Helen's fast asleep. Oh, I suppose I've surprised you. Well, I fancied a change. Steele says I shouldn't use time as if it's some sort of a wardrobe, but well, he's so serious. I get bored wearing the same old clothes. Now, salt and pepper. Oh, with it. But where did you get them from? What? The clothes. Oh, these aren't real. Not real? No, these aren't real ones. Salt and pepper. Look, this was my favourite last week. What do you think? Well, I think that... Yes? I just think that you're beautiful. Thank you. And the name Sapphire, like blue, as if you were blue. And steel? Well, I suppose he's like steel, grey. <laughs> the corridor, have you ever seen it? Seen inside it? Not properly. I did catch a glimpse once on a ship. A ship? Mm, in the middle of the sea. Anyway, it was a simple operation. We fixed it. And you say you're so... Well, just a glimpse. It was like looking through frosted glass. All the images were blurred and broken. Like the images upstairs? Something like that, yes. Sorry. Perhaps when you finish telling the boy about the nicer aspects of our job, you'd tell him about the dangers. He knows about them. He knows about them. About the dangers in this house. The corridor. Don't try and imagine it. It's immense. Time is immense. Try and imagine instead you, Rob, or your lifetime as approximately one inch in length. Then compare it to the corridor of time, which is a thousand million miles long. One inch, you. Time and the unknown, a thousand million miles. Just compare them. It's very, very big, and it's very, very dangerous. Dangerous? There are things, creatures, if you like, from the very beginnings of time and the very end of time. And these creatures have access to the corridor. They're forever moving along it, searching, looking, trying to find a way in. They're always searching, always looking. For the hole in the fabric? Yes, but they must never be allowed in, never, ever. You've already seen what can happen upstairs this evening. But we stopped them, held them, took the trigger away from them. The trigger? Yes, the final ingredient. A certain traditional nursery rhyme spoken in a certain room. Rebecca. Ring a ring of roses, a pocket full of purses. That's why we tore it out of the book. That's why we burned it. A tissue, a tissue, you know, full double. And that's why Sapphire and I. The king has sent his daughter to fetch a pearl of water. A tissue, a tissue, you know, full the bells are ringing, the boys and girls are singing. A tissue, a tissue, you will fall down. The bird upon the sea pulls the tie about the teeth. A tissue, a tissue, you will fall down. The cows are in the men, like a bunch of sheep. A tissue, a tissue.